Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. How are you today? I can't hear you. <laughs> Put it in the comments today. And let me know how you're doing today. I just wanted to come on and bring you an update on my 30 by 50 or 50 by 30. Um, I think this was from, it was New Frog. Now it's called Sedils or something. Yes. Seed as deals or something. Um, I am enjoying doing this painting. I've gotten the first row done and I have started this little section over here. So I'm going to be doing her face. So, yeah. Um, it is around and I am excited to see uh, this portion done. It is a full diamond painting, so we will be able to check out together in a video in the future to see how her face comes out. Um, so far, so good. I am liking the way this is looking. Um, the leopard's nose or snout is looking pretty damn good so yeah I just wanted to come on and share that with you guys and maybe talk a little bit today is Tuesday uh no um today is Wednesday jeez see when you stay home you forget what day it is even sometimes you forget what time it is <laughs> So I just thought I'd come on and maybe have a little whip and chat and update on this painting of where I am at on it. I am enjoying this painting immensely. Um, don't know which one I'm going to do next in my stash. Uh, let's see what else I can update you guys on. There will be a couple of diamond paintings coming in. For me to review on the channel so stay tuned for that also I wanted to thank all of you who have went into my affiliated pro, uh, links to purchase art supplies from art and fly also heartful diamonds for diamond painting I appreciate everyone that has um, purchased through my links as it has given me um, some a little bit of um, funds to put back into my channel therefore I did um, use uh, some of the commission to buy some uh, fine liners which I will be showing on my channel and some diamond paintings so I appreciate every single one of you that has purchased so if you are interested in purchasing diamond paintings and trying a new company try Heartful Diamonds and that affil my affiliated link will be in the description below or if you need uh, some art supplies and would like to try some different color pencils and markers and if you need some gel pens or whatnot My link for art and fly will be below in the description box also any questions or comments of how to get there um, Because I know I've been getting messages stating where is the description box? Well if you below the where you see the writing or the title of the actual video in the right hand on the right hand side you will see a gray arrow just click that arrow and you should come upon the description box and then my links will be in there and you just could click on the link and it'll take you right to the site and you can shop and purchase through that link so that's enough about that. Um, I have 
some color me videos, color with me videos coming up. Um, I also want to do a update on the pictures that I have colored this week, which are not many, but um, I did show some of them in my live on Monday. However, not everybody has had the chance to come into my live on Monday night, so those of you that watch replays or just watch videos, I will be doing an updated video on my coloring. So, yeah, now what I've been doing this week, pretty much lifing with the family, cleaning, shopping, laundry, like, you know, just lifing. And in between time, oh, and my cooking, yeah. And in between all those lovely things, I've been working on this diamond painting and coloring and doing little crafty things that I like to do that I enjoy, that relax me. Talking to some YouTuber friends, my peeps. Yeah, so... That's basically what I've been doing all week. Well, it's hump day in the middle of the week, but you get the idea. Um, very proud of my daughter. My daughter, Ashley, as you all know, is going to college to become a microbiologist. She is doing so, so well. She does have a 4.0 average at this point. She is on the on, High Honor Roll Society group. She's also, um, just, you know, she texts me, like, after her, her tests and her quizzes or whatever you want to call them in college. I don't know what they call them, but, um, <laughs> I'm old people. What can I tell you? Um, <clears throat> the last quiz test that she has taken she got a 103 on it so I'm a proud mama and also she is um, has the opportunity to go to three different places um, on her college journey to study for two weeks and the places oh cat hair good lord no that's not cat hair that's my old gray hair from my head that's stuck in my painting. Get up out of there. Get up out of there. Um, what was I saying? Oh, so, um, so the three places she has to choose from is number one, Italy, number two, Nova Scotia and Canada, or actually India. So she's been looking into I mean, yes, granted, we're all excited, she's excited, she wants to, um, she wants to sightsee and stuff, but let's face it, she's going there to study, so she's been looking into the programs exactly what, you know, that goes with her studies, microbiology. She's not going to go and do business or, you know, um, something that doesn't have to do with what she's studying. So, basically, she has narrowed it down to two places because of the course situation. She was looking into India because she would love to go to uh, India um, and check out their culture and uh, country and whatnot. However, the um, courses there are set on business so that that India is off the table as of right now so the two places she's going to be looking into next is Italy and Nova Scotia Canada um, she is looking one for one particular um, class they will be doing in these two locations at this time so but right now believe it or not the courses um that really fit what she is studying at this point is actually in nova scotia in canada so she's 
leaning more to the Canada side. So we shall see. She wants to check Italy to see exactly if that other course she is looking for is in Italy. And then she will make her final decision. But I am so, so proud of her. Oh my God, I cannot, you know, I, I can't. She's just, she's just a smarty pants. She's just a, she's a freaking A genius in my book. <laughs> so, um, yeah, my son Robert, he's been very, very busy with work and his drumming and his teaching. Um, let's face it, guys, it's marching band season, so the boy doesn't even have time to breathe. So, and he is the head of the percussion line in the marching band at the high school in one of the high schools in Fort Myers. So very proud of him. Um, as you all know, and people who don't know, my son is, um, wants to become a director of music. So he is well on his way. Um, very proud of my children. My daughter, I cannot believe it. I mean, my daughter, I'm is going to be 25 in November, and my son is going to be 23. Oh, my God. So, you guys who have youngins at home, enjoy them, because it goes so fast, and they get busy, and, you know, the only thing that I really, at this point, that I am very, another thing I'm very proud of my children for is they always make sure that we have dinner together as a family, which is very important to me because we all sit at the table and we share what we've done, you know, during the day or, or what have you. So that time is really, really special to me. Um, and they've kept it up because I honestly, I really think that they enjoy it too. Not only mommy and daddy, but I think they enjoy it too, no matter how old they are. So, yeah. You know, so, and I, to me, I will wait till, and it's bad, you know, for the figure and all that, but I will wait till 8 o'clock at night if I have to, just to have dinner and have, you know, my family together at my dining room table to eat. I'll just stuff a snack in my trap until then. <laughs> but, because it does get crazy, as everybody knows, you know, everyone's going in a thousand million different directions. So, yeah. Um, let's see. What else can I tell you guys? Cats are doing good, the puck is doing good, the bird is doing good, the zoo is all good, you know, just uh, eating, sleeping, getting fat they are, all the animals are fat, not <laughs> they're fat, <laughs> they're just big, they're muscular. <laughs> Yesterday we had a quick really quick dinner and one of my like favorite quick dinners is tuna fish and creamy tomato soup okay guys don't judge me but I, it's so good i just dip my sandwich in my soup i know a lot of you are going eh, you know but i like it so every time we open the can of tuna fishes fishes the cats get a treat of the juice and i always get the one in the water um, packed, the tuna fish packed in water, and they love it, so all eight of them are around, you know, two, I put two or three bowls, I divide it up, and, um, they love it, they love it, so they were smacking their lips, and taking half an hour baths, and they really were in kitty heaven there, <laughs> Um, usually what I do to keep their coats nice and shiny, once a month they get a treat 
not only the tuna fish, but I buy sardines especially for them. So the oils and whatnot and keeps their coats nice and pearly and shiny. So, and of course my puppy, Princess, she always gets... I buy the, I go to the meat section and I buy the meat knuckles and I cook them up and I let them cool. It's bone marrow because I do not believe in rawhide. Rawhide is no good for um, animals. Um, it is not, it, it's not safe for them. I've had a dog years ago have rawhide and it just doesn't digest properly and not only it makes the dog very very the dogs very very sick they cannot digest it a lot of dogs cannot digest the actual rawhide and thousands of dollars later after surgery and putting the dog through that sickness and um stress of having surgery and stress upon yourself and your freaking wallet um rawhide is out of the question in the law house do not give it to my animals i don't like it <laughs> and i don't want to put my bait my fur babies through that so they get for treats and stuff they get the knuckle bones you get in the meat section and they got the bone marrow in it and then after they eat after princess eats the bone marrow what i do is every so often to keep her coat nice and shiny i take peanut butter and put it into the bone and she loves it the peanut butter is very good for the doggy and if I buy any gourmet treats, it's always peanut butter. Because that's her favorite and it's the healthiest um, to me. But, and to my vet. So, that's it with the animals. Oh, daughter has two fishies now. Thank God I don't have to take care of them. She takes care of them. All the other animals are really become my responsibility um you know vacuum up their dust bunnies every day and all that stuff good stuff but so she got two beta fish one is like a um, white color and i know you're asking me what's their names um you gotta understand something about my daughter my daughter has to have very unique names and usually they're latin and meaning for something so that's just the type of person she is like her the mommy cat in the house she named the the mommy cat that we have ember not amber please Ember is the proper name with a E. And what that means actually is fire. And so then her, my other cat, which she has also named, which is Ember's granddaughter yes we have the whole damn family um her granddaughter is named luna which means moon so <clears throat> yes my daughter um is very creative that way and things that really mean thing you know mean things to her and whatnot that's how she names her animals. Um, I'm trying to remember the fish's names. Um, blah, 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 blah. I know, let's see, 
I, I, and the problem is with my New York accent, I really can't pronounce things that good, as you all know me. <laughs> and the ones that don't and have just subscribed to my channel, you will get the idea when I, when I do my videos and my lives because, like I always say, you know, you could take the girl out of New York and move her butt to Florida, but you can't take the, you can't take the New York out of the girl. Which I'm very proud of, don't get me wrong. Wouldn't have it any other way. So. Um, let's see. So I got lots of good things and new things and, um, oh, I know what I wanted to tell you guys. I'm seriously thinking about, um, once some more funds get put into the channel and when, uh, I am able to purchase, you know, uh, when Bob gets a few paychecks under his belt, I want to purchase this new craft and I'm really excited I at least want to try it once um, you know and see if I like it but what it actually is is you could either take a canvas or like get a um, make or buy like a wood of uh, some wood um, and make a lazy Susan, or um, even if it's a round, just a round, cut round piece of wood out of plywood or whatnot. And you take a, all right, here comes the New York accent, all right? You take a colander. <laughs> Actually, I think it's a strainer. Because it has to, it's, anyway, it, it's, it, it's actually a colander. Because it doesn't, <clears throat> well, let me explain this first. So, you put the canvas or you put the wood down, you know, and if, you, if you're making it naturally, you have to sand it and whatnot. Um, and you get these, like, I want to get these vibrant colors of paint. And you actually mix the paints, however colors you want, and you put them through this sifta or colander. And what it does, and you pour it into it, and then it spreads onto the board or canvas, whatever you're working on. And it really looks so interesting and cool. It's almost like um, I've seen some of them um, come out like a Mandela type thing or like abstract painting, but bright and vibrant. And the colors just mix on their own. It, it just looks really awesome. So I really want to try that. And it does not, when you're pouring it through the colander or sifta, whatever you want to call it, it does not just plop on the canvas or the board with the holes of the, you know, the, the colander or whatever you're pouring it through. So you have to see it. So... Once I get that, I will definitely share that with all of you, and um, I probably will try it once, uh, not on video, and then I will come on and do one with you guys, so you could see exactly what effect it's going to give. And then if I'm using wood, what I want to do is I want to... You know, put like a glossy, I guess like a resin or like a shellac of some sort. That's how, that's what we called it when we were growing up, shellac. I know a lot of you are laughing like, oh dear lord, she's showing her age. Anyway, <laughs> so that's basically the new, um artsy, crafty thing that I want to do and share with you all. So stay tuned for that. Um, 
Yeah, so I'm pretty excited. I got so many ideas going on in my head for what I want to do and bring to the channel. And um, so, you know, you guys got to, uh, if you want to see all these things that are rumbling and dumbling and turning around in my head, you got to subscribe and hit that bell. <laughs> and, um, yeah, I'm pretty excited to bring it to to my channel because I enjoy my crafts. I have a lot of fun doing my crafts. I have a lot of fun making my videos and sharing new and unique things with you guys. I mean, that's what it's all about. Not complaining. Not, you know, putting out your dirty ass laundry all over the freaking YouTube because... Uh, you will never, I'm telling you right now, you will never ever come to my channel and hear depressing crap. There is nothing worse, and I was not going to bring this up, but there is nothing worse of turning on YouTube and just cruising channels. And there's some YouTubers out there in the diamond painting community. Oh my God. Y'all should be a damn shame to yourself, okay? I'll tell you that right now. Pet peeve right now, and you have been shut off. Trust me, okay? Yeah. You have definitely been kaputed from my watch list. Um... I turn on this channel, and every single time I turn on this channel, it's who's hurting, who's having a bad day, who's depressed, who's this, who's that. Oh my God, please message each other and keep it off of YouTube because that is the worst thing you can freaking do to your channel. And I'm sorry, if you want to grow your channel, you are not going to grow it that way. I mean, you got friends on YouTube, that's fine. You want to talk to each other offline, that's fine. And that's the way it should be. Friends don't do that. And you want to depress every single YouTuber out there? You keep going the way you are. And I'll tell you what. I am so, and I'm going to tell you, and I didn't mean to sit here and rant. I am so sick and tired and refuse to be a part of that depressing crap if anybody needs me they know how to get in touch with me and it should be done privately not spread all over youtube and these fake youtubers that get on there and try to manipulate people at their weakest point big pet peeve of mine huge okay huge biggest pet peeve you'll hear me say on my channel i'll tell you right now is someone who comes on to YouTube and ruins our community and sits there and says, Oh, I don't want to, I don't want to start drama. I'm me, blah, blah, blah. Well, you know what? Sorry. No, you're full of crap. Because I'll tell you what, you get on a channel and mention on a channel on your four hour live about people doing this and other YouTubers stealing your spotlight and all this. Change their days. That is none of your damn business. Second of all, you ought to be ashamed of yourself. Shamed, I mean, I don't even know how you look yourself in the mirror. You manipulate and make people feel People at their weakest point, the people who have depression and anxiety, you make people at their weakest point think you care. You, all you care about, you don't, when you're talking about the community and how you want to bring the community back together and all that stuff, again, I'm calling you out, all right? I'm going to call you out. You're full of crap, okay? Full of crap you come on there and you you say you care about all these people no you play on these people the community is everybody in the community not your p 
pick and choose of community, all right? You didn't start this community. You're a part of the community. And since you've been a part of the community, have done nothing but cause conflict and division. And it makes me sick. It's disgusting. This is not about your ailments. This is not about your life. This is not about you getting freebie after freebie. Okay? You want freebies? Don't sit there and mention it on your channel. Do it behind the scenes. No one wants to hear your crap anymore. And you causing division from the community. Well, I got news for you, lady. You better really look at yourself in the mirror and decide how to build your channel another way because there will be no you want division you're causing it you don't even know you're causing it okay you have picked and chosen people to speak to or not to speak to all because of I don't know what but I've never done anything to you and I better not hear my name or my channel come out of your face eskies you got it you talk about beef having beef with people and you should go to the person and message them about your beef what'd you do what did you do on your live on sunday you started division and hurting people again again and what did you do so what someone's busy lifing and decided that they're going to change their lives to Sunday. It doesn't step on you. How many times have you gone live and, and caused trouble and stepped on people's? You go live for four hours at a time and don't give a crap who else is live. So don't you come on and play Mrs. Queen Bee and thinking you're whatever you think you are or how you're going to do anything. You got anything to say to me? If I hear you mention my name, I will come on here again and rip you. So you want to hurt people? You want to hurt people? You keep it up. I am tired of your big mouth. Now, that's my New York temper. So don't mess with me, okay? Don't. And you leave my friends alone because this is an all community and we should be sticking together and diamond painting and enjoying it. No one wants to sit here and listen to your crap of you manipulating people and hurting people that have enough problems. You want to do it? Do it off your life. Think of something else creative to freaking talk about on your channel. And don't you mention my friends' names ever again. Or people on yours. Now I have to go calm down. And I am sorry I had to bring this in, but that's what I how I feel. Sick of it. Got a problem with me? Text me. Text me. Really? Text me. Bye. And take, um, subscribe if you haven't subscribed. Hit that like button. Hit that dislike button. Comments, questions, suggestions, please put them below. And I'll see you in my next one, guys. Take care.